Find out more about Hutchins and Bottles in this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. Here's a Hutch bottle I found last year. I got this bottle because my mom's side of the family is from Reading, Pennsylvania, and I wanted a bottle specifically from there. This particular bottle has Muhlenberg Street on it, which is named after a specific family in my mom's family tree. There are some pretty cool people in the Muhlenberg family. One of them is this cool guy named Major General John Peter Gabriel Muhlenberg. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on Muhlenberg, just a few highlights. Towards the end of 1775, George Washington personally asked Muhlenberg to raise up and be colonel of the 8th Virginia Regiment of the Continental Army. He agreed. And after spending about two years defending the coast of Georgia and South Carolina, the 8th Regiment was sent north to join Washington's main army. And he's got a couple cool monuments in his honor in Washington, D.C. And in addition to his military career, Muhlenberg was also a Lutheran minister. So I just thought this was cool for having a bottle with Reading, Pennsylvania and Muhlenberg on it. As for Samuel Furman, who bottled soda or mineral water in this bottle, well, there's not too much of a story to be found on him. No pictures. I found him in a few old books pertaining to bottling in the late 1800s and early 1900s. I don't think he lived in Reading for too long in his life because no major records are found for him there. I just found this one article where Furman took a guy to court for not returning some bottles back to him. That was about it. I also found a few addresses of Furman's bottling businesses. One address was obviously the 1017 Muhlenberg Street, which is no longer a factory. It must have been torn down or burned down because if it was still there, it would be right here. And this is the side of an elementary school which wasn't built until the 1930s, which was way after the bottling company was there. And here's an article saying that the bottling company moved from Muhlenberg Street to South 6th Street, which seems to be still standing it's a building with 10 bedrooms and 5 bathrooms according to this site. Maybe it's one family's home or maybe it's an apartment building. I'm not sure. I found another address, 211 Cedar Street, which now seems to be this empty lot. And here's a map of all three locations. So one more cool thing about this bottle is that it's a Hutch or Hutchinson bottle. The Hutchinsons date from the late 1880s to the early 1900s. They pretty much stopped being made about 1912. So this bottle is over a hundred years old. The Hutchinson style bottle has a distinctive shape. They have very heavy thick glass in order to withstand the carbonation pressure. Each bottle weighs over a pound. Here are a few hutches from my collection. Notice that they're different sizes. Each factory kind of did their own thing. No two factories hutch bottles look exactly the same. Here's a cool picture of a bottling factory getting ready to fill some hutch bottles. They are not called Hutchinson for the bottle shape though. Although all hutch bottles have this shape, the hutch is actually named for the stopper. The Hutchinson Stopper was patented in April 1879 by Charles Hutchinson and quickly made it obsolete to use a cork to close your soda bottle. So the Hutch Stopper is this metal piece inside the bottle that if you pull it up, it stays in place from the carbonation and there's this little rubber piece at the end that helps seal it. And if you push if you push the metal piece down, it opens the bottle so you can drink it. And it's bent in such a way that when you do push it down, it doesn't fall to the bottom of the bottle. This stopper's main drawback was that it was internal, leading to an eventual cleanliness issue concerning the reuse and cleaning of the bottles. 
Bottlers did not always replace the stopper when they cleaned and reused them, and hygiene complaints began. About that same time, the crown cap was racing to be the next big thing. And by 1912, the Hutch's time was pretty much over. Well, that's all for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.